Hello YouTube, this is K2 Karama, and we got uh, another kitchen table passport. I've actually had this for like a week and a half or something, but um, I got sick and I've been training, so I just didn't have time. But this month is ready for Sweden. Cool. And just so you guys know, because I told you I'd keep you updated if you're you know watching this channel a lot. Um, we didn't try one of the table passports, but we did try one of the s raw spice bar boxes, and we did the jerk Jamaican fish tacos, and and that was it was spicy. Yeah. It was good. I really liked it, um, and we we actually calmed it down with some mango salsa that we found in um, uh, Kroger, but they were good. They were just they were spicy. Um, paired it with some rice, ate those up. There was a dessert that was um, some kind of banana thing, but it sounded really good. We just weren't really feeling that that night. So we're trying them slowly but surely. All right, so it says something in Swedish, um, and I don't want to totally butcher it. So, yeah. Talks about ABBA, Volvo cars, Ikea, snow. Um, Northern Lights, Midnight Sun, Europe's Largest Lake, um, Quality of Life, Health, Education, Equality, Prosperity, and Protection of Civil Liberties. So, looks like this, com um, this country's got a lot to offer. And I'm really excited about this one, even though I don't particularly like meatballs, but we're doing um, Swedish meatballs over some egg noodles. Sounds really good comes with lingonberry jam. I'm not sure how that goes in pasta really, but I'm willing to try it. Part of the reason we got the box in the first place. Um, so about their food, you should always include bread, butter, and cheese. In Sweden there's a huge variety of styles of bread. There should be both hot and cold food in their meals. Begin with cold, like herring or salmon, and some traditions exist, like herring is eaten with hard-boiled egg and potato. Guests may come back for more of the cold dishes before they proceed to the hot. Don't mix the hot and cold on your plate. The hot dishes may also include fish, baked ham, meatballs, pork ribs, sausages, and potatoes. There's more. Desserts may or may not be included in your smorgasbord, which is apparently a Swedish word. All right, so that's pretty cool. Let's talk about the cool stuff we got. Um, our mementos or souvenirs. One of them's really tiny. One of them's not. Nice small. Okay, so the mementos this month. One is a dollar horse. Um, it's a charm, and the dollar horse is traditional carved and painted wooden horse originally from the province of Dalama. It has become a symbol of Sweden generally and different styles are produced and usually reflect, reflect the region they are from. Folklore says the Dala horse is a model of the god Odin's horse Sletnir. So that's kind of cool. The other thing we got was a bookmark which is really important to them because the bookmark, bookmark is handcrafted in Sweden and shows how Swedish people love to spend time in nature, especially in the summer and springtime. In April, the days are longer and warmer, and Swedish people love when the light comes back since they have long and cold winters. It's made 100% recycled material and printed with vegetable-based ink. Hmm. So, it's pretty cool. I like it. It's really artsy. Yeah. Um, so that's the basic overview of what we have. We already talked about our Swedish meatballs and the lingonberries. Um, and it says we can add vegetables and stuff to it if we want. So our spice pack here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. It's kind of mild. Still smells good though. It's not as spicy. We got salt, black pepper, nutmeg, allspice, and ginger. So it's pretty basic. So, I mean, it's pretty cool though. I just want to try out the, you know, the culture. It's the whole point. Uh, our little fun cards. Of course, I'm not going to read all of them. 
if you guys really want me to let me know what's up and we can always come back through alright so why would the city be known as the Venice of the North Sweden the kingdom of Sweden has 9.6 million people 85 percent living in urban areas 22% live in Stockholm, which is the capital, it has 42 bridges across 14 islands, but the overall archipelago um, has approximately 24,000 islands. Wow. That's an interesting country. Hmm. So, the yellow cross on the flag, they have the blue flag with the yellow, um, yellow cross. I was trying to see if there was a bigger picture. It's kind of small in here. No, we don't have one. Um, it says, represents a gold cross in the sky seen by an ancient king. Okay. Officially, six languages in Sweden. Swedish became, <coughs> Swedish became the official main language in 2009. That's interesting. Um, they like Romani, Finnish, Yiddish, Menkili, and Sami. Uh, Swedish alphabet has 29 letters, 26 Latin plus, um, I'm not sure what, there's an A with a circle over it, an A with two dots, and an, as an O with two dots. <laughs> not like sure that. what they're called, like Inye, I know that, and you know, stuff, but I don't know what these letters are. Um, but 98% of the people speak English, of course, so. Um, let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what's the most amazing night sky you've seen? All right, so northern Sweden. Uh, apparently Lapland is the far northwest part of Sweden and is said to be the home of Santa Claus. Northern lights appear during September through March and are gorgeous. Uh, vegetarianism is rare in the far north because there's not enough vegetables or grains to eat. It's cold and dark there. Um, huh. Reindeer eat can take 30 years to grow back. Oh, okay. So there's lichen and the reindeer that eat it. Um, it could take 30 years for that stuff to grow back. The dwarf willow tree, only a few inches tall, could be over 100 years old. So they just don't have the environment that they need to grow. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, stuff does grow. So, um, there's a midnight sun that you can see for 24 hours straight. Um, but in the winter, it's dark almost all day. So, kind of like our, uh, one of our states. Sami people. Cool. Uh, where do you think most people live in Sweden? Sweden is slightly larger than California, but nowhere near as populated. Uh, forests cover 69% of the land. I bet it's really pretty then. All we got is like cities and apartment complexes all over the place. Um, nearly 100,000 lakes and 200,000 islands. Yep, yep, yep. Talking about trees and mooses. And where in Sweden do you think the trolls live? Trolls? <laughs> so, holidays and beliefs. We got Midsummer along with Christmas and Easter is one of the biggest holidays. People end notes with Happy Midsummer. Most holidays and celebrations are folklore rather than religious. On Easter, children dress up as witches and go trick-or-treating. So, witches only, I guess. Trolls are part of the folklore and either live in caves, in the mountains, or in the forests. Rich as a troll or ugly as a troll are common phrases. St. Lucia Day starts Christmas season on December 13th. The eldest daughter dresses up and wakes her parents with coffee and saffron buns. Interesting. Christmas, um, Tom Tars or gnomes are said to live around houses and sheds. Show them respect or they will play tricks on you. Leave a bowl of porridge on the doorstep to get Christmas gifts from the gnome. Santa Claus is now more popular and children write letters to him in his home in Lapland. 
Typically, a man will go out after dinner and come back with gifts. The celebration is on Christmas Eve, not on Christmas Day. Christmas straw, not a tree, was popular until the late 1800s. The town of something, Gavla, builds a giant straw goat now, but it was vandalized nearly every year. Huh. That's my favorite card. I like that one. So, what do they all have in common, it says. We got some pictures of Ikea, Metallica, Superman, and Elvis. The gap between the richest and the poorest people is in one of the... Is one of the smallest in the world. Health care, education, social programs are universal and comprehensive. Employers are required to provide free massages. Parents get 480 days of paid parental leave with two months reserved for the father and they are considering a third month in 2016. Leave is paid at 80% of salary. Leave can be taken any time until the child's eighth birthday. Daycare costs are based on income and have a maximum about one-tenth the cost of the U.S. The culture, Sweden, is number fourth on the list of global well-being, happiest countries in the world. The U.S. is number 23. Women hold a high percentage of government's professional and technical jobs. Lagum doesn't have an English equivalent, but is a concept meaning just right or adequate. Not too much, not too little. It's an important concept overall. Um, the official Twitter account of Sweden is managed by a random citizen each week, and rallying, which is driving cars through the forest really fast, is very popular. You can't name a baby Ikea, Elvis, Metallica, or Superman. Interesting. So, that was, oh, okay, what's similar between them? Yeah, that's interesting. What sort of role do you think the Swedish military has? Pretty cool jet. I don't know. Uh, talks about Vikings. What Vikings did. Um, the first Russian states were created by Vikings, apparently. Um, talks about Thor. And parliamentary democracy. Talks about kings, King Charles the seventh, or the wait, what's B? B is five, right? Yeah, yeah, seventh. Also talks about the ninth King Charles. Talks about John Baptiste, Bern Bernadotte. <laughs> Had a tattoo that read "Death to Kings." Interesting, uh, but that was a legend, so I don't know. Um, Talks about their last war was in 1814. They've been at peace and neutral in both world wars. They're doing pretty good, if I say so myself. Where might you see these underground works of art? It's pretty cool. World's deepest hotel room in an old silver mine, over 500 feet deep. That's weird. The world's first hotel? Oh, Ice Hotel. I don't think I, don't think I want to stay there. <laughs> yeah... It melts each year and gets rebuilt by new artists. Hmm. That's kind of cool, though. Definitely tour it. I would pay money to tour it every year. Um, or stay in a hotel room up in the trees at the Tree Hotel at the Woodpecker Hotel in 130-year-old Oak Tree. It's um, a little under 40 feet high. Take an incredibly scen scenic train journey through northern Sweden on the, um, what's that? Inland bomb? I don't know how to say it. Uh, there's a pretty cool ship that you can go see. Ice fishing or snowshoeing. There's a subway that's popular. The uh, oldest open air museum. Um, medieval week. That's kind of cool. And five million Christmas lights at an amusement park. We got, what's your favorite ABBA song? So, I guess ABBA's a real big deal there. I like them, but goodness gracious. Industries, Ikea, H&M, Ericsson, Volvo, Saab, um, Electrolux, Swedish companies. Advertising to children under 12 is illegal. 
I don't know how you would not advertise. I guess just what you're advertising or how you're doing it. Um, Sweden has a very high number of McDonald's per capita, and there is even one that is ski through. Cool. <laughs> um, third largest exporter of music. So for a few years, ABBA was second only to Volvo in Sweden's exports. The band wore crazy outfits to receive tax deductions. Um, they're so efficient at recycling, only 1% of trash goes to landfill that they import trash to convert to energy and get paid for it. Wow. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think the U.S. should jump on that train and we can help our deficit and get rid of some of our trash. Um, economy and education. Tax rate, 51.4% of GDP. Pretty good. Sweden has the 10th highest tax rate in the world. Greenland is 79.6%. The word for tax is the same as treasure. The standard of living is incredibly high. Interesting. The government sends you a completed tax form, and if you agree, you can pay by text or online. High school students are paid $187 each month. American textbooks are cheaper in, in Sweden than they are in the U.S. It's probably why we can get them online so cheap. University tuition is free, part of the EU, but has its own currency, the krona. Interesting. Got two more, guys. What would you expect to eat in Sweden? Whatever this thing is, it looks interesting. Reindeer meat, popular in many forms. Reindeer milk is apparently sweet. Um, some weird word is fermented Baltic herring. It's an iconic Swedish dish. I don't really like fermented. I don't. I don't like that word. I don't. Mm -mm. Um. Uh, yeah, for this exact reason, fermenting is done in tins, and they have to be opened outdoors because the smell is so strong. No. Oh. Pickled herring. Um, salty licorice. Uh. Mm. A national liquor drink. I can't pronounce any of these words. Um. Mainly flavored with caraway or dill. Interesting. You can make glog by pouring wine over it. Or vodka is also popular, particularly absolute. Um, if you're invited for dinner, arrive on time, not early, not late. Keep your hands above the table and finish your meal. It's rude not to. When served a drink, make eye contact. Say skull and take the first sip at the same time. Only offer a toast to those younger than you. Hmm. Cheese, caviar, mayonnaise, etc. are packaged in tubes like toothpaste. And fika, the coffee break, can be a verb or a noun and is a way of life. Very coffee-oriented. What Swedish invention made car crashes safer for the whole world? Um. Hmm. Well, I don't see a seatbelt on here, so... Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, okay. The three-point seatbelt was invented by Volvo in 1959, and they made the design patent open and free in the interest of safety. I should have known that. I forgot about Volvo being over there. Um, Alfred Noble invented dynamite. Interesting. Um... The Nobel Prizes are awarded in Stockholm every year. Spotify, Skype, Minecraft, and Candy Crush were all created by Swedish people. <laughs> uh, pacemaker, safety match, and adjustable wrench are Swedish inventions. Sweden ranks second in the Global Innovation Index. Pippi Longstocking was written by a Swede, and her books were translated into 74 languages. The largest spherical building in the world, the Ericsson Globe, is in Stockholm. It also houses the largest scale model of the solar system. Sweden has the highest number of choirs per, per capita, with 6,000 singers. In 2011, a man was arrested for trying to split atoms in his kitchen. Huh. Probably a good thing. Yeah. All right, guys, that's Sweden. I think that's, that's a pretty cool one. I mean, I really liked this this month. Yep. Not too bad of a box. I can't wait to try the 
mm. meatballs. meatballs. So that's it for this. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. All that good stuff. And we will see you next time. <laughs>